We normally put a team of inspectors in a tank using rope access. So they'll have harnesses on and secure the high point in the tank and we'll do the inspection visually by men in the tank. We're always looking for opportunities to use technology to reduce safety risk and improve efficiency. We're already using drones on the Griffin Alpha to inspect the flare tip which is at significant height. Uh, the oil and gas sector could use drones in a much wider way. Initially drones were used for flare stack inspection which is a very advantageous use of drones because we can inspect the flare stack while it's still live which can have tremendous saving benefits to the client. One example of a client in Nigeria, we did four days of inspection, five flares, and this saved them $11 million because that's the opportunity cost of lost production which they would have had had they shut down the assets and inspected them in the normal manner. So drones are very reliable. The drones that we used for Maersk, we've been flying since 2009 uh, in various revisions, and so we're very confident that with the thousands of hours we've got on that airframe, it's reliable and safe in this environment. Uh, well, we hadn't done it before, and nobody else had done it before, so we didn't have anyone else to refer to, but we did have experience of using the drones. So with Cyberhawk, uh, we looked at the normal procedures for inspecting the tanks. Could the drones be used for doing that? Would we have enough accuracy? We worked with our classification society to see would it give them enough detail for our inspections, and through trialling out the drones, we found that it was effective, probably more effective than we thought it was going to be. We, we can't do all the inspection with drones, so on occasion we'll still have to put people into the tanks. Um, but because there's a lot less people in the tanks in a confined space working at height, it improves the safety aspect. And it's also a lot faster. We can inspect all heights in the tank with the drones. Uh, we can have people looking at the feed from the drones live, so we don't have to do one inspection, look at what's found and put people back in to check things. We can actually do that in real time. So efficiency-wise, it's a lot faster. It has a huge potential to save money and we already demonstrated that in the project that we carried out for Maersk. Uh, a direct comparison time for time with the rope access team versus what we did with the, the ROAV or drone. Um, probably would have taken a rope access team around about a week. It took us around about a day, day and a half to carry out that same inspection. Uh, well anything that currently involves detailed inspections, expecting things at distance, working at height, we can investigate the use of drones for the, those kind of aspects. Uh, we can inspect under an oil and gas platform and this avoids a, a lot of scaffolding cost and time and effort and means we can have a much safer inspection of a large area in a very short period of time. Um, we're also in mass tankers looking at using drones for carrying mail and carrying small items of equipment between installations and onshore to cut down on helicopter flights.